For my final project for this audio programming class, I actually used Pure Data instead of Max um, to make a homemade, um, you can see, oh, guitar effects pedal, basically. It's got a couple of different effects on it um, that I can control several different parameters of. Um, so, what it sounds like straight in is just clean guitar straight in. And then a couple of the things that I've got, so I have an... So I've got a fuzz pedal. Uh, I've got an overdrive. Just a little bit less aggressive than the than the fuzz, and then blended together, just a really cool distorted sound. I've got a reverb, just the idea is to make it really like doesn't take all of the attention away from the guitar, just a really nice effect. And I can change, and anyway, so, and I've got a tremolo that I can change a couple of different things on, such as the speed. So that one's cool. And I've got a uh, guitar synth so that anytime I play a note on here, it listens to the note and it turns that into a sine or saw wave, um, which sounds really cool. So that one was the hardest one to put together, but um, so all of these effects, except for the overdrive, I patched myself. Um, some of them were simple, some of them were a lot more complex. Um, but each one of them's got a couple of different parameters that I can change around. So on the fuzz pedal, uh, sometimes the, the high end of a really distorted guitar gets really shrill. Um, so I put a low pass filter and a high pass filter to be able to kind of uh, scope the sound out a little bit. Okay, so there's the fuzz. And I can go ahead and I can cut more of the high end out. And that sounds cool. I can cut a lot of the low out or I can put all of it back. And of course, uh, both the overdrive and the fuzz have a drive setting, so I can dial that way up. And then, so let's get the overdrive back in there. And on the overdrive, that also has a gain that I can play with. Um, so we can phase that one back down just a bit, bring the fuzz back down a bit, and fade that back in. It's a little much, still, okay. So on the reverb, I've got a size uh, parameter that I can change. Um, I can blend that in more. So on the reverb, I believe it's, yeah, it's this guy right here. 
So if I turn that way up, you can hear how it goes for a lot longer. For the guitar, for the electric guitar, I like more of a kind of a springy slap back kind of sound, so that's further down here. Down here, and then mix it to taste. And then for the tremolo, we've got a... So you already saw the, um, the speed, which I can change with that. And then I've also got a depth parameter, which changes. Cranked all the way up is on and off, so you can really hear the tremolo. Or you can bring the depth down so it's less abrupt with the, uh, with the effect. That's nice. Okay, um, let's see what else we've got. Um, so I built and wired in a looper so I can actually go through and, um, and record something and then play it back and then play on top of it. Um, so I've got my metronome here that I can affect with this. So let's set it to about there. There's the metronome. It's a good rate. So now I can go in and I can record one thing and then come back in and play on top of it. Okay, so now that's looping. So now I can pick a different sound and come back and kind of play on top of that. I want to get rid of the tremolo. And I'm going to come in with a lot heavier guitar. Let's try that out. It's embarrassing. So basically, it just gives you the ability to kind of riff something, let it play over and over again, and then be able to come back, pick a different kind of sound, and then play along with it. So for songwriting, that's a huge benefit. Um, but yeah, um, what I'd really love to be able to do with this is because it is pure data, I could get it onto a like a Raspberry Pi, which is a much smaller box, and then bring my own interface to plug the guitar into and have, you know, maybe this be like a floor pedal kind of situation. Um, and then what I'd be able to do is take this like on stage and have all of these parameters ready for me to, to, to do live on stage. Um, but for now, this is just, it's been really fun to put together and really fun just to play around with and get like different sounds and, um, all of the, uh, the, the fuzz, the tremolo, the reverb and the looper and the guitar synth, that one was a pain, but that's putting together all of those was, was really fun. Um, and figuring out how to, how to patch them. Like, and each one of those is an abstraction 
inside of this is just the control panel for all of the um, the effects and getting this to talk to all the different patches. It's um, it's a lot, but I had a really uh, really fun time putting this together, and I can't wait to uh, keep using PD.